Hello everyone, it's how to to bro here in today's video. I'm going to show you how to add fireworks into a photo in Photoshop. Let's get started. Okay everyone, so um, this is the example of what your finishing image going to look like. So those uh, fireworks are actually not real, so I added it in. So, yep, let's start it with opening the Photoshop. What you want to do next is on in Photoshop, go to File, Open, and uh, open the background photos. So this one is my background photo. Yeah, um, and gonna open the fireworks. So background first open and then that's the background file open another one and add the fireworks so I'm gonna choose probably uh, this one first okay so open it so as you can see we have two tap here separately so uh, first what you want to make sure is down in the corner here the unlock sign the lock sign is gone so as well as with the fireworks oh it's already unlocked so pretty good okay so go to the fireworks tab what you want to do next is uh, you got normal here as you can see it's normal what you want to do is click to the drop down menu and scroll down and you can see the light in here click on light in and nothing happens yet but you can see so over to the left side click on the move tool right there and grab this image and drag it into the first tab put it into picture release so as you can see the background of the uh, the background of the fireworks the black background here is not there anymore there's only the lighten part because we choose lighten on the other tab here so we choose the lighten so it's gonna be only the fireworks here and this is gonna be a bit big so it doesn't look real so what you want to do is on the computer on the PC press ctrl T or on a laptop you want to press command T and it will have this little window here and what you want to do is just track it to resize it to wherever you want you you can hold shift to keep the image the size it was so I'm gonna move this to the left hand corner right there looks good and enter so it stay there you can move it around if you want um, let's just do another one so go to file open another fireworks so I'm gonna do the, blah, 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 the probably this one okay so um, here we go we have for here command uh, no sorry guys um, so press on the unlock button here and you know here in the drop down menu go to lighten there we go then go click on move to like before drag it in onto this layer release Alright, so as you can see here, this one is quite a bit big, so we have to resize it. Not a big deal, guys. So, just like before, Control T on PC and Command T on Mac, click on it. It's gonna have this window open, and you can drag it around as you can see. And just grab the corner and pull it in. So, you guys can see it's getting smaller and smaller. There we go start to look real doesn't it so I'm gonna put it there all right so as you can see here this fireworks here um, it looks a bit like blurry it's not clear so what you want to do is click on that layer and the drop down menu it is light lighten so what you want to do is just just change it so when you go to screen this light is a bit brighter 
color dodge. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna stay with color dodge. It doesn't have to be line, but I, I usually choose line first because that's usually the best option. Okay guys, so after finishing editing the photo, uh, of course what you want to do is save. So this is a really basic thing that usually you know, but I think I'm just going to include this in here. So what you want to do is go to file and save. It's going to pop up this window and I'm going to save it to the desktop quick. So I'm going to save it as Photoshop so you can edit it later on and click save. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to save it as a Photoshop file, or you just want to save it as a image or a photo, what you want to do is see format here. What you want to do is just click drop down menu, scroll down, and PNG. You can save it JPEG if you want, but I usually choose PNG. Um, and just rename it uh, Fo. No sharp testing and save. It's just choose whatever you want. So I just gotta choose more or less. As you can see here, it's done. So you can close it if you want. Oops. Uh, don't save. We already saved it. So yep, that's it for today's video, guy. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is our final products here looks really real and I hope uh, it, this video helpful for you and if you have any recommendation on what video I should do for the future comment below so I know and I'll try my best to help you guys uh, also go and check out my other video really helpful tips on uh, iOS device and as well as Windows uh, if you like it please click a thumbs up subscribe to my channel it means a lot for me and I'll catch up later peace Thank you.